Hello and welcome to the video where I will show you how to create a hotspot, also known as tethering, between your iPad and your iPhone. So what this basically does is allow your iPad to use the iPhone for the data connection going out. So you'll be able to um, browse the internet, use YouTube and anything you would normally do as if it had a 4G card within this iPad Instead, you'll be going through the iPhone. So with that in mind, it is worth checking. Just make sure you do have a data package which supports that. Um, otherwise, you could rack up some high data bills. So with that said, let's get into this. What we need to do is we'll, we'll go to the iPhone first. We'll click onto settings and I will show you the personal hotspot, which is just here. Um, this is where we enable personal hotspot. In fact, just before I do that, let me just show you, in case you don't know the name of your phone, because what, the reason I say that, we're going to search for that in a moment on the iPad. Let me show you where the name of your phone is. It's um, basically in settings, we go to general, and if we go to about, and that's the name of your phone, you can click here and change that if you so wish. But just know that, just be aware of that, because we will be looking for that in just a moment. So back to our regular program, um, personal hotspot is currently off. We click that and we have personal hotspot at the top here. So we just click that and it enables the personal hotspot. Now just below it has the Wi-Fi password and mine is currently set, let's keep it between me and you, as my secret, okay? Now what we're going to do is turn our attention now to the iPad. And we're going to search for this network and we're going to use this password. So we go across to the iPad, we go to settings. And if we look for Wi-Fi, we're going to make a Wi-Fi connection to the phone. So we click Wi-Fi. It's searching for the networks. And as you can see, it's located the iPhone. And that's this phone here. We click iPhone. It's asking for the password. So we can type in my secret. Click join, and there we have a tick, and that tells us we have a connection. So, if I close that window and open up YouTube, you can see we have the data connection, which is going through the iPhone. So I hope you found this useful. Um, if you have, really appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up. Um, it just lets me know that, hey, I'm doing the right sort of thing. And it also lets other people know that it works for them, that it will work for them as well. Um, if you haven't, would really appreciate a subscribe as well. Um, share it if you have friends who may find this useful. Um, thank you for choosing my video and I wish you a great day.